In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this panel, how you can create parts like the way you're seeing here, uh, how you can create accounts and create all these parts to what you're seeing all here. And I'm going to show you how you can get uh, where you, you can get servers, just like the way you're seeing here and many, many other things in this video. So just continue watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share out to your friends so that you can also get to know this. going to mention here and uh, you now you need to have a Cloudflare account or any CDN provider if I mention about that uh, there are some CDN providers here I can show you um, there is this one um, this one uh, it's called CDN China and then there's this one Netfly and there are many others but in this video we are going to use Cloudflare this is what you're gonna use in this video there are many domain name providers which you'll try out there. There is Freenom, which I will commonly use, and many other domain name providers. As you need a server, that is the VPS, and there are many server providers uh, which I use. There is DigitalOcean. Um, there is also uh, Azure, that is for Microsoft. Uh, Amazon, hope you see it over here. As well, there are other domain name, there are other VPS providers like uh, this one. There is uh, Linode. As well, there is also Vault, this one, these ones here. So, the other requirements which you need is a notepad because you will need to note down something like uh, the one I'm using here. If you're using an Android, uh, a Windows phone, sorry, if you're using a Windows like uh, the one I'm using, you can, you can open this one, a notepad. Or any word as well if you're using a device Android device you can also open the notepad which you have as well you need to keep calm just first watch this video like two to three times so that you can get each and everything and you need to follow up okay now let's dive into the first thing which we need first we are going to get a server and where are we going to get a server so I'm going to use this one uh, I'm going to use DictorOcean We shall need a domain provider now we are going to use the freenom all you need to do is to go and type in freenom okay you copy you type in freenom and open any browser of your choice you type in and you sign up after signing up you'll be given this page here and you search for any domain name which you want so maybe i can name it maybe like vitore and we see what we shall get uh, maybe let's try to get a domain name here Okay, now I think we have gotten our domain names here and we are going to take this. And then you select checkout. And then you choose the period which you want your domain name to last. So I'm going to select a year. Then I click continue. You click agree, then you complete the order.
okay hope you can see that our order has been successfully placed and our domain name has been created we can check out our domain name by checking uh, domains as uh, we mentioned on the requirements we shall need uh, a cloudflare account or any cdn provider but i'm going to use cloudflare in this in this video right or you sign up and then you click where you say add site and then you add the domain name which you're going to use for instance this is the domain name which we are going to use you copy it or you just type it there come here and then you paste it sorry about that you paste it and then you click add site and then what you need to do after you creating that they will ask you to add uh, DNA, dns records and that's the why with the reasons we are here and then you type in at for the purpose of this video i'm going to just type in that and then for the ip for address you go back to your server provider and then you choose the ip address of the server which they have given you you come back here and then you paste it here okay you click on uh, aniprox file and then you save that's it we are done then you click continue okay now what they require you here is to change the name servers what you need to do is to go back to your domain name provider now the providers differ when it comes to settings but for this part for the this user here for this purpose i'm going to use these ones what you need to do is again to come back here we are going to log into our server i'm going to use mob extra for android users you can try out tamias you can try out use ssh you can try out um, and many other and other ssh clients as i mentioned in one of my videos here as well i also mentioned the other clients which you can use for windows so feel free don't say that this guy is using uh, something else okay i'm into the server right now now what we need to do is again to go back and check what we wanted to follow okay now we have done all this we have done all this and uh, now the next step you are going to do is to update our server so what you need to do is to copy command by command okay Hey, I also copy this copy and paste copy and paste okay <coughs> I'll leave all these commands in the description of this video or I'll redirect you to where you can get them from <laughs> 